All right, everybody, Rob from Warren Bucket here. Uh, just wanted to uh, open up. This is the bin. This is what uh, we call our the outside bin that I brought in, and it had some pests in it. So last time we talked, um, I was treating it with diatomaceous earth. Um, and so let's see how that did. So I treated this a week ago with diatomaceous earth the first time and I sprinkled it in there and um, then I came back and I looked after about three days and there was still quite a bit of activity um, in terms of uh, other critters that were not worms. So I added some additional diatomaceous earth and it started out very white. And you can see now it's kind of turned into this tan color. Um, but when I looked in here just now, I saw one or two uh, resilient creatures that are still, uh, have not been killed by the di diatomaceous earth. And so I'd say 90% of it is gone, but there are still a few things crawling around so I'm gonna treat it again still a few more roly polies now I left my trowel outside so I'm gonna try to pour this in on top and pray that I don't actually spill it everywhere Whoop. But yeah, so I'm sprinkling more diatomaceous earth on top of my uh, bedding here on my worm bin. And put it on there pretty liberally. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it right on top. Maybe work a tad bit of it down into the into the second layer. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just because it seemed like there were some uh, things right under the surface that kind of were able to escape the diatomaceous earth. So hopefully I won't... They say this doesn't harm the the worms here. We'll see. So far it hasn't seemed to harm the worms. Although this guy looks a little affected. Get down there, wormy. All right. So, treated it again with some additional diatomaceous earth. Sprinkled it a little bit in there on the inside. And I'm actually going to sprinkle just a little bit more right on top. All right, so sprinkled some more diatomaceous earth there on top, and we should be good to go. So you can use diatomaceous earth in your worm bin if you find yourself with unwanted pests, uh, maybe roaches or ants or some sort of, uh, we've got roly polies and will look like kind of millipedes or something. They came from our outdoor worm bin, right? We had outdoor worm bin. It had lots of things that got in it uh, just from the nature of being outside. And then when we went to transfer those worms, we inadvertently transferred some eggs. Um, and so then we started to get some other creepy crawlies in our bin. So not to be alarmed. It's nothing to really freak out about. We just sprinkle some diatomaceous earth and just kind of um make a few changes again the worm bucket's sealed so it's not like these things are actually crawling out of the bucket so all right so we'll change our little sticker here that we uh treated it with diatomaceous earth again today and 
uh, we'll check on it next week and see if we've eliminated the pest problem in the worm bin.